Chapter 17 of The Scarlet Letter is called The Pastor and His Parishioner. Hester and Dimsdale awkwardly discuss their shared unhappiness. Dimsdale wants someone to know that he's a sinner, even if that person is his enemy. Hester reveals that Chillingworth is, in fact, her husband. Dimsdale laments his failure to recognize Chillingworth's evil and then blames Hester. She asks his forgiveness for not revealing the secret earlier. Now, at first, Dimsdale refuses to forgive her, but he gives in and calls Chillingworth a worse sinner than he is. Hester urges Dimsdale to leave Boston and make a new life for himself. Dimsdale is afraid that Chillingworth will reveal his secret. He says that he is not strong enough to make the trip alone. Hester says, thou shalt not go alone, intimating that she and her daughter are coming with. Dimsdale has become weaker as Hester has become stronger. The weakness in his character that Hawthorne hints at at the beginning of The Scarlet Letter has become evident. Dimsdale leans on Hester to save him when he should be saving her by revealing the truth. Hester asks Dimsdale whether or not there is not shade enough in all this boundless forest to hide thy heart from the gaze of Roger Chillingworth. Dimsdale replies, yes, Hester, but only under the fallen leaves. The fallen leaves are a symbol of the fall of humanity through original sin, a central idea in the Puritan religion. The colonists believed in universal literacy as an inability to read was Satan's attempt to keep people from the Bible. They passed a law as early as 1642 that required children to be taught to read. The first pages of Puritan books, which taught through alphabet rhymes, read, A in Adam's fall, we sinned all. Adam brought sin to humankind. Hester is a fallen woman for her affair. Now Hester fully owns up to her guilt, so her salvation lies in the truth. An argument could be made that she even flaunts her guilt as she embroiders the A with gold thread and insists on wearing it after it could have been removed. Dimsdale, in contrast, continues to hide his guilt. The action of these two characters show the dichotomy of personal and public truth.